Welding is a fabrication process that joins two or more parts of material together, usually metals or thermoplastics, by using heat to melt the parts together and following them to cool and causing fusion. So basically welding we two uh, any uh, any material two material or more than two material we join together so this joining process actually is the welding so welding uh, can be the fusion and non fusion welding also so another one uh, you see the below welding is distinct from uh, lower temperature metal joining techniques such as brazing and soldering which is not melt the base metal that means brazing and soldering also uh, this is also metal joining techniques but uh, these techniques actually uh, base metal not uh, melt so from this uh, definition we can say the type of welding is the two type of welding one is the fusion welding and another one is the non fusion welding so actually welding have the so many process so about the process we will uh, discuss uh, uh, continue we will discuss uh, series in series lectures so Another thing is the what is weld. So a weld is a, a union of piece of metal made by welding. So this is the one piece of metal whatever actually the made uh, by welding. So another one is the what is joint. So joint is a configuration of members. So I tell you that two members should be uh, available to joint. So this is the configuration of members. So this is the weld joint. So I will show you the what is the weld, uh, what is the joint, what is the type. I will try to discuss in this lecture. So types of weld, if we consider the types of weld, we see the first is the butt welds. So this is the butt welds. Then second is the fillet weld. So you can see here is the here is the fillet weld. Third is the e-spot or seam welds. So you see the figure. So this is the spot or uh, uh, seam weld. So another one in plug and slot welds. So you see the figure is the uh, right side. This is the plug and slot oil. So it, actually this is the this uh, one part make the plug or slot then welding is inside. So edge oil. So you can see the edge edge oil. This is the edge oils. So types of uh, joint are uh, bud joint actually we can see from here the bud joint. So another one is the T joint. So before I say I show you the what is the weld now I show you the what is the joint. So this is the bud joint. So configuration is here. So this is the T joint. Then uh, lap joint you can see from here the lap joint. So this is the lapping on metal and the metal lapping. So we need to welding here. So this is the lap joint. Then the corner joint you can see from these photos the corner joint. Actually, this is the closed corner. And this is the open corner. So here this is the uh, corner joints. So next slide you can see the lap joint. So this is the flat oil lap joint. This is the spot oil lap joint. Both also uh, lap joint, but uh, joint type is different. This is the flat oil type. This is the lap uh, spot oil type. Then a while preparation. So actually, we need to remember the purpose of while preparation is to allow access for the welding process, penetration, and fusion through the area of the joint and it faces. So what is the purpose of uh, while preparation? So we should have the welding access the welding process. Then penetration should be come out and fusion also is there. So these are the things we need to consider for during the while preparation. So the basic rule in this, the you need to take a new remember also. The more you take out, then the more you must put back in. That means uh, if during welding preparation, if you do the more bevel preparation or something, then uh, you need to refill this uh, all the space by uh, filler filler metal. So that means uh, if you take out more, that means you need to put back in uh, more. So this major effects on economics and distortion control, etc. The root phase, root gap, and angle of bevel bellows, the choice of angle or double side preparation, 
are detected only by the type of welding process, the position and accessibility of the joint. So the weld preparation time you need to consider this. Then the weld preparation. So you can see this figure. This is the weld preparation. So this is the bar joint uh, weld preparation. So you can see the angle of bevel. So this is called bevel angle. The number two, the included angle. So if you consider this is the bank bevel angle. So two bevel angle. This is the included bank bevel angle. So this is actually the. Then a uh, third is the root gap. So you need to keep the root gap in between gap. Otherwise, uh, penetration cannot come out. So you should keep the root gap. So root face. So you can see here the root face. Then another one is the root radius. So if I do the we do the J type or U type uh, preparation, this is the root radius. Then this is the root landing. So the J type preparation here have the root root landing. So actually, this preparation we need to follow as per the uh, WPS. WPS uh, uh, is uh, will be clearly mentioned. What will be the root uh, bevel angle? What will, will be the root gap? And what will be the root phase and root radius? Everything. So these are the things we need to follow the WPS. So when we go for work, uh, we need to get the project approved WPS. And during preparation, we should follow the WPS. So related to the WPS, I will uh, make uh, another lecture. So I will uh, show you how to choose the WPS and uh, how you will implement in one side. <coughs> so in this slide, we try to understand the types of single bud preparation. So you see the single bubble. So this bubble is the single side. So this is called single bubble. This is the second is the single B. So this single bevel single bevel two bevel uh, become a single b you can see the shape is b so this is the single j you can see here here the one side is the j so this is the english letter j same same j so this is called the single j so another one is the u so when when two side will be the j and this side also then this is become a u so this is the single u but preparation so double but preparation you can see from here double bevel so you see the this is the one side and this is the another side so this is the called a uh, double bevel then uh, double b you can see from this uh, photos so this is the b and another side also b so this is called the double b or double bevel then the double j you can see this side also j this is j so this is the called the double j and double u so you see from this photo this is the w so this is all the double but uh, preparation you can see from this uh, uh, all the pictures i hope you understand uh, what i mean if you still have doubts please ask me in comment section i will try to uh, reply your comments so up to now you see the type of oil now we are going to be discuss the type of well joints so the this is the bud joints so this is the bud oil bud joints this is the filler oil bud joints another is the compound oil bud joints so this is the configuration of the bud joints so uh, next one is the t joints so you can see the t joints this is the filler oil t joints this is the bar oil t joints and this is the compound uh, oil t joints so you can see here the filler oil bar oil filler oil so this is the compound oils t joints so another oil joint type is lab joint you can see the filler oil lab joint then spot oil lab joint then spot and filler that means compound oil lab joint so this is the lab joint uh, configuration so now we will check the corner joint what is the corner joint so from here you can see this is the closed corner filler oil closed corner joint this is the bar oil closed corner joint then this is the compound oil close corner joint so compound oil uh, this is the filler oil and the bar oil also so both type of welding that's why called the compound oil that closed corner joint the another uh, slight open corner joint you can see this is the open corner joint so one side it filler oil so this is the inside filler oil that open corner joint so welding is inside this is the open corner joint then second one is the outside filler oil 
open corner joint so this is the outside filler toil actually this is the open corner but here is welding done so outside welded open corner joint so this is the another one the double fillet oil open corner joint so this inside also welded outside also welded so this is called double fillet oil open corner joint so we see here is the one the welding done uh, welding completed bar joint so a but welded joint uh, but welded bar joint so this is already welded done so we see from this figure which one call what so you can see this is the parent material thickness so parent material thickness so whatever uh, from parent material to extra so this is we call the well face well face this is the well face then we can see that this is the root so root uh, come out from uh, uh, base material to come out so this is the well root then you can see the well width so this one uh, this one actually was the bevel preparation so here to here is the well width so this is the design or the design throat thickness so design throat thickness means minimum uh, welding will be the uh, parent material thickness so if parent material is 12 mm so this will be the 12 mm uh, welding so after 12 mm we can this is considered the excess uh, oil metal or reinforcement so the one two three full oil two so this is called the oil two this is the face side oil two this two and this is the root side oil two so this is the called the oil two so you can see this is the fusion line so you can see welding joint plus uh, our uh, print material so here is the fusion when the welding done that time uh, this part is fused and these two after cooling uh, these two adjusted so this is called the fusion line you can see from this picture this is called the fusion line then fusion zone so fusion zone also you can see this is the fusion zone so whatever is fused this uh, well metal plus plain material this is the called the fusion zone so heat affected zone <coughs> so from the fusion line to this uh, have the specific uh, place here have the heat affected zone up to how much this is the affected so this is the heat affected zone so this is the actual throat thickness that means actual our uh, base metal thickness plus uh, excess oil metal so this is the actual th uh, throat thickness so you can see from here to here maximum is the actual th uh, throat thickness so a plus b is the excess oil metal so i will tell you this is the a this is the root face root side reinforcement and this is the uh, sorry this is the face side and this is the root side so b so a plus b equal to this is the excess oil metal so up to now we see the what is the bar joint configuration then we go to the fillet oil so if i go to the we go to the fillet oil then you see this is the oil face then this is the vertical leg length so here to here this is the leg length this is the also leg length so this is the horizontal leg length this is the vertical leg length this is for the fillet oil then this is the design throat thickness so from here to here is the design throat thickness so same at bar joint we can call this is the excess oil metal or reinforcement so this is the actual throat thickness so from bottom to top this is the actual throat thickness so excess oil metal i already tell this is the excess oil metal you can see in photos this is the excess oil metal so that one was the filler oil uh, configuration now we go the nominal and effective throat thickness what is the nominal throat thickness and what is the effective throat thickness so you can see the a this is the a this is the nominal throat thickness actual the we whatever we call the design or something this is the nominal throat thickness then s is the effective throat thickness so this is the effective throat thickness so during welding actually this is not limited to here only this is the fused and go until the inside so this is come to the until the inside this is the effective throat thickness or actual throat thickness so the deep throat uh, deep throat filler oil from fcw and sw etc so when we do the fcw sw welding that time uh, this actually this uh, throat this uh, inside go very deep so this is the deep throat fillet this is the effective throat thickness 
so in this photo you can see the philatel profile so this is the convex this is the concave and this is the <coughs> this is the mitre so you can see the this is a concave so concave is a, you can see from figure and con uh, sorry this is the convex then this is the concave and this is the mitre so actually concave is preferred for joint subjected to fatigue loading so where is the fatigue loading is affected so that place uh, all time uh, suggest to design uh, uh, suggest and um, design by concave philatoids so what is the fatigue loading so i will uh, try to uh, discuss this uh, about the fatigue loading in another lectures so let's see what is the our uh, next slide so this is the summary of lecture today lecture summary i give you here so what is the welding we already understand a u a operation in which two or more parts are united by means of heat pressure or both so what is weld a union of material joint a configuration of member while preparation preparing and joint allow excess and fusion type of oil so we see the type of oil bar oil fillet spot seam plug slot edge we will see in slide so type of joint we see the bar joint t joint corner joint open and close so for corner joint open and close close corner and open corner then the preparation try uh, terms so for preparation bevel included angle root uh, root face gap land radius we already see in before in pictures then types of preparation we see bevels b j u single and double sided so you already see in before in a uh, slide so weldment terms so for weldment terms we did the uh, c weld phase road fusion zone and boundary hedge weld to weld weld so weld sizing for bar we see the design throat thickness this is the actual throat thickness excess oil metal the oil sizing for fillet also we see design throat thickness actual throat thickness excess oil metal and leg length so this was the summary for uh, today lectures